So, in the previous uh, video, we saw some examples of group uh, sets with operations. We have not yet defined what a group is. So, these were sets with operations. For example, the first one was integers under addition. The second one was the set was the bijections from 1 to 3 to 1 to 3 under composition. And the third example was rotational symmetries of an equilateral triangle. So, in all these examples, we saw that the binary operation had certain properties. So, hopefully those examples motivated the definition of a group, go ahead and formally define a group. So, this is the definition of a group, which is the object that we will study in this course. So, okay, so uh, this should now be clear after the examples that we have done. So, a group is a set, let us say G, we denote groups by usually G with a binary operation. So, what is a binary operation? So, it is a function from G cross G to G. So, it is just a mathematical way of writing what we discussed in the previous video. So, given two elements of the group. So, G cross G is the set Cartesian product of two sets. So, elements are pairs of elements of G. There is a way to produce another just for clarity let me use star as my operation though in practice we will not use this. So, star is the binary operation. So, remember that binary operation definition already includes the statement that the operation is closed, because you take two elements of the group G, perform the star operation, you get a third element of the group G 1 star G 2. Satisfying the following properties. Remember that the examples that we studied in the previous video, the operation had four properties, namely that it is closed or that it is a binary operation that is already listed here. So, the remaining three properties are there is an identity element which is denoted usually by E. What is the property of the identity element? G star E is equal to E star G and you must get G back. So, remember this is exactly the identity element that we studied. 0 was the identity element for the operation addition on integers, but we want to insist that whether you compose G with E or E with G, you get G back. So, that is the first property. Every element G of the group G set G has an inverse, which is, so G, if G is an element, there is something called G inverse, we denote this by G inverse. So, the inverse is generated by G inverse that is just convenience. What is the property of G inverse? G star G inverse is same as G inverse star G and you should get the identity element back. Okay, so, remember that first identity element must be there, then inverse can be defined. And what is the third property of the binary operation? Star is associative. which is to say that G 1 star G 2 star G 3 must equal G 1 star G 2 star G 3. This is true for all elements G 1, G 2, G 3 in G. This is 
true for every triple of elements of the group. So, then we say that the operation is associative. So, remember we always have to emphasize that a group is a set G along with a binary operation. A set itself is not a group, binary operation is important to define a group. So, we say the correct way to say this is G comma star is a group that is all. So, a group is a group is a set along with a binary operation star which is which admits an identity every element of the set has an as an inverse and the operation is associative. So, G star is a group. So, a, again let me emphasize star is important. So, examples let us look at examples. Remember that in the previous video we looked at some examples and my goal has been always to abstract the key properties in those examples and the key properties in those examples was there the operation was closed namely it is a binary operation there is an identity element and every element has an inverse and it is associative. So, I have abstracted out those properties and defined a group this is what we now call an abstract group. So, abstract refers to the fact that it is not specific it is not integers that you are used to it is not functions that you are used to your it is not real numbers that you are used to it the set along with the operation has no structure other than that imposed by this operation and these properties that is why it is an abstract group. So, integers with addition is a group this is our first example in the previous video. Similarly, S 3 along with composition is a group this is composition. So, plus is the addition of integers S 3 with composition of functions. Similarly, I defined uh, rotational symmetries of an equilateral triangle that we called G earlier and again there the operation was composition. So, these three are examples of groups and as I said the operation is important to this, but whenever there is if there is no confusion in other words if the operation is clear from context we write G is a group instead of ok. So, it is simpler sometimes to write that G is a group instead of specifying the operation because sometimes we do not need to specify the operation if you are looking at an example or a problem operation is clear from the context ok. So, I want to today discuss more examples we have already three examples I want to discuss more examples. So, that uh, we, we have a collection of groups in mind before we study properties of these groups let us first look at some more examples some obvious ones to begin with. So, let us take q these are standard notations that I will use throughout the course. So, this is the set of rational numbers. and under addition this is a group just like integers under addition is a group rational numbers under addition is a group and the, the proof is similar remember a group is a set with a binary operation in the case of q the binary operation was addition. So, you can add two rational numbers keep in mind that if you add two rational numbers you get another rational number. So, it is a binary operation on the set of rational numbers there is an identity element namely the 0 element. So, that is an identity element every element has an inverse what is inverse of 1 by 2 it is minus 1 by 2. So, addition on rational numbers has an inverse and addition certainly is associative. So, q with addition is a group similarly r which is the set of real numbers as I mentioned 
these are going to be my standard notations z z refers to integers q with this bar here refers to rational numbers r refers to real numbers and just like before r plus is a group exactly for the same reasons you can add two real numbers you get another real numbers Similarly, if you take the set of complex numbers, it is also a group under addition. As you can see, unless you mention a possible binary operation, the question of a group does not arise. So, you have to pre mention what the operation is. So, under addition, which is very familiar to us, z q, r and c are all groups. Now, let me ask you something. So, let me study possibility of groups under multiplication. So, usual multiplication. So, is for example, z a group under We have seen this in detail in the previous video. It is a group under addition, but now I am asking is it a group under multiplication. Remember multiplication is a operation that we can perform on integers. First property is it closed? Here you have to ask yourself if I multiply two integers, do I get another integer? Yes. that is ok. So, of the required four properties, the first property is ok. Multiplication is closed. So, because multiplying two integers. So, if we multiply two integers, we get another integer. So, that is ok. The second property is, is there an identity? Okay, so, this is where things get tricky. Is there an identity element for multiplication? Think for a second. It looks like there is. How about 1, the integer 1. So, it looks like it is a multiplicative identity. So, if you do 3 times 1, this dot here for me is the symbol for multiplication is 3. Similarly, 5 times 1 is 5, 100 times 1 is 100. So, is 100 is 1 multiplicative identity? Actually, it is not, it is almost a multiplicative identity, but if you do 0 times 1, you get 0. So, uh, yeah, so actually, it is a multiplicative identity, that is not a problem. So, 1 is a multiplicative identity. What about inverses? Ah, so, here is where we have a problem. As I mentioned in the first video briefly, what is inverse of 2? What is inverse of 2? Remember, inverse of 2 under multiplication. So, here I am interested in multiplication. Additive inverse is minus 2, that was ok, because under addition z is a group and 2 has an inverse. If you recall 2 plus minus 2 was 0, but what is a multiplicative inverse? You have to remember the definition of an inverse in a group. What is the definition of an inverse? It is an element which has the property that if you perform the binary operation, you get the identity element. We agreed that <coughs> 1 is the multiplicative identity. So, which number can you multiply with 2 to get 1? So, 2 times something should give 1. So, what is that? Certainly, that has to be 1 by 2, but 1 by 2 is not an integer.
Okay. So, in other words inverses do not exist in z for multiplication, they do exist for addition. So, inverses do not exist in z for multiplication. So, z under multiplication, this is multiplication is not a group. Okay. So, z under addition is a group, but z under multiplication is not a group. Okay. So, fine. Uh, z is not a group because inverses do not exist, 1 by 2 is not an integer. Okay, now, let us enlarge our set. So, what about q under multiplication? q under addition of course, as we saw earlier is a group. What about under multiplication? See here the problem of uh, the integers does not arise because 2 has an inverse now. namely 1 by 2. So, 1 by 2 which was not an integer earlier is nevertheless a rational number. So, 2 has an inverse. Remember inverses must exist, exist in the set. Again I go back to the definition of a group. Every element g of g has an inverse g inverse which is again an element of the group g of the set g which has this property. For integers that is not the case under multiplication for rational numbers 2 has an inverse, but there is still a problem. What is that problem? What is that? 2 has an inverse, but 0 does not have an inverse. Why? Because if you do 0 times anything and remember to be an inverse of 0 if we must multiply with something to get 1, but this is not possible. This is because if you multiply anything with 0 you get 0, you can never get 1. So, q under addition sorry q under multiplication is not a group. Again q under addition is a group, but q under multiplication is not a group, because it seems very close to being a group, because it is closed under multiplication. Certainly, because if you multiply two rational numbers, you do get another rational number. There is an identity element namely 1 and almost all elements have inverse. In fact, every element other than 0 has an inverse and certainly multiplication is associative always. So, but still it is not a group because one element has no inverse, but if you remove 0 from it, let us denote q star to be the set of non-zero rational numbers. In other words, in the notation of sets, this is r. Okay, so, let me denote like this this is q minus the element 0. If you take non-zero rational numbers under multiplication, they form a group. Is it clear? Because uh, remember the only problem that we encountered in making q under multiplication a group is that 0 has no inverse, 0 does not have an inverse, but I have removed 0 here. 0 is not in q star. So, we do not ask for its inverse. Now, if you take a rational number, if r is in q star, inverse of r, remember which we denote by r inverse is simply 1 by r. So, it is now well defined because r is not 0. So, q star is a group. So, I will let you go back to the definition and think a little bit if needed to convince yourself that q star has all the required properties. There is an identity element namely 1, every element has an inverse, 
and multiplication is definitely associative. Okay. So, q star under addition multiplication <coughs> is a group and similarly, r star which is as before set of non-zero real numbers similarly c star set of non-zero complex numbers are both groups under multiplication. Because star means we have removed 0, these are non zero real numbers, non zero complex numbers. And just like in the case of rational numbers, if I remove 0, multiplication becomes a group because every non zero element has an inverse under multiplication. Identity element is still 1, multiplication is definitely associative, so these are groups. But I want to remark that z star which is the set of if you define it like this non zero integers z star under multiplication is not a group because here there was a problem with even non zero integers having inverses not just the zero num not just the integer zero because even 2 does not have a in inverse so z star is not a group but r star c star and q star are groups under addition. I also want to uh, discuss more examples L coming from these rational numbers, real numbers and complex numbers. So, quickly another example, if you define q plus, this is my notation for positive real, rational numbers. Similarly, r plus positive reals are the groups under multiplication if you think about it r groups are groups under multiplication because remember the multiplicative identity is 1 which is a positive real number or rational number. So, 1 belongs to q plus and 1 belongs to r plus. So, I am defining r plus to be positive reals, q plus to be positive rationals. We will keep using these in the course. They contain 1 and inverse of a positive real number is again a positive real number. Inverse of a positive rational number is again a positive rational number. So, uh, and associativity comes for free because multiplication of numbers is associative and closed also comes for free because if you multiply positive numbers you get positive number. So, these are different examples of groups and I also remark once more that uh, q plus or r plus or q star or r star or c star are not groups under addition. They are groups under multiplication, but not under addition because what is the identity element for addition? As we have seen earlier, it is the 0 element, but 0 is not in q plus because it is not a positive rational number, it is not in r plus q star, r star, c star do not contain 0 because obviously they are defined to be non-zero rationals, reals and complex numbers. So, they are not groups under addition, but they are groups under multiplication. These examples make it very clear that group operation is very important obviously the name itself suggests that 
if before you want to understand if some set is a group or not. The sets have no meaning unless you ask for what is the operation. So, under addition these are not even groups, under multiplication they are groups. Okay. So, it is important to keep in mind that when we specify a group, we specify we must specify a group operation. Okay.